Well, you guys, if you're looking for a backup solution, then you may want to check out the Western Digital My Cloud Home uh, backup solution. This is a four terabyte drive inside here. Goes up to eight terabytes as well on this one. Now, this is a single drive in here, so no RAID, but it does have an auto backup for your photos and videos on your phone straight to this device. And you can share that with your family and friends as well. And you can also let them back up to uh, this drive as well. Now, also with this particular drive, you can do simple sharing with your friends and family, and it's really easy to set up. So there's no need to worry about uh, complicated setups. You can back up all your PCs, or your laptops, uh, all your devices, your Mac computers, all to this device as well. So it's got plenty of storage space for all your devices. It's compatible with Windows 10 right back to Windows 7, also Mac OS Sierra and uh, Capiton. Uh, mobile phones, iOS, and also Android as well. Uh, so you've got plenty of uh, options there available for many different types of devices. It's an on-the-go uh, access with My Cloud Home app, so you can download the app and access it from anywhere you want and back up and access all your data. There's also two types, which is the uh, single and the duo. The one you're looking at, uh, which I'm using, is the single, which means it doesn't have two drives in it or RAID set up, but the duo does have two, and you can set up RAID on that type of device. So it's more secure and more safe, and your data is going to be more safe. And they also go up to 20 terabytes. So you've got much more scope with the duos than the single uh, type um, backup solutions. But if you're looking just for a simple, quick backup solution, and you want to back up your data really quick and easy, then a MyCloud uh, Home Western Digital is a real simple, easy solution. Now, this is exactly what you're going to get inside the box. You're going to get your card here, your setup, quick setup guide. And there's also a key in here, which you're going to be using to connect to your device. Also, you've got your warranty cards and stuff like that inside here and your user manual and support numbers on here. And with Western Digital, you know, you're going to get really good support uh, from this device. Now also you can see here we do also have our uh, power adapter and this has a three pin plug on it which is for the UK but you do get a, a two pin prong adapter which you can just swap out on the end there and this is for European countries and also probably across the pond like America and stuff like that so you can check up their website for more details on that sort of thing if you're into uh, that sort of a connection but this one is the one we're going to be using in our country and a pretty long cable there so it's nice to route around the back of the computer you also get an ethernet cable as well which is uh, i found it a little bit too short but it's okay i got around it and uh, but that's what you're going to get inside the kit it's got this plastic cover on it let's just get this plastic off now it's got a sort of two-tone effect to it like a so you can see we do have that silver metal look on the bottom here and a really sort of glossy white finish on the top this is the back of the device here. You can see we do have on here our USB port and that USB port is gonna be able to plug in all your external storage device. If you wanna get some more storage, you can do. You can also transfer files from there straight to the my home cloud as well by that method. So it's good for importing all your data from there if you want to. It's USB 3.0 as well. You've also got your ethernet port on the bottom of that there and also your power input you've got your little sort of activity light there as well and uh, it's really easy to set up on the bottom you've got some rubber feet here I've got my finger over the because uh, it gives you the code there to connect up with it but you can see the drive in here and plenty of good ventilation on there and on the top you get some really good ventilation as well so it doesn't get too hot I would have liked to have seen a power switch on here so you can turn the device off because it is going to be always on. And uh, But I suppose that's the way it's been designed. Not sure if you'll be able to sort of lie this flat down because the drive is that sort of orientation. So maybe you can get away with uh, lying this flat if it's too high. There is no rubber feet on that area there, but I couldn't see why you shouldn't be able to lie this flat if you wanted to. So other than that, it's a really nice little device, very small as you can see here and uh, you can just put this somewhere out the way and uh, you'll be able to access all your photos and stuff music you can set up a plex server on it um, for all your media multimedia music and movies and stuff like that around the home and of course they go up to eight terabytes on this sort of single drive and if you're getting the duo version you'll get up to 20 terabytes which is quite a lot of uh, storage
Now, moving on to the computer, I just want to show you how to quickly set this up. It's very easy to do. And uh, once you've got it all turned on and plugged in, you should see it up the top here, uh, but you won't be able to connect to that yet because obviously you need to go through uh, some stages here and I'll show you the whole process. So don't try and connect on that because it won't connect uh, and you need to go through this step here first. So first up, what we're going to do is open up a browser and uh, we're going to go to mycloud.com and then forward slash hello. So you should have your device all plugged in with your Ethernet into your router and stuff like that now. Now what you need to do here is create an account uh, for your device. It uh, doesn't matter which one of these you've got, whether it will be the, the single or the duo. Just create an account, put in your details here and then click on create an account. They will send you an email and confirm and you should see a number here. This is your number uh, for your device and it comes on the card and on the bottom of the device. Once you click on connect here and uh, you should be good to go and uh, once you do that you can now start. So you can get an, uh, an option here to share some information to keep the device running uh, smoothly. It sends back a bit of information, crash information and stuff like that. You can opt in or opt out of this. I've opted out for it but basically you can opt in if you want to. just means that they will send you updates and stuff like that if you need to do all that sort of stuff but I'm not interested in that so so I'm just going to be using this as just sort of a, a quick uh, stop uh, solution for backups and stuff like that but you will need to back up more than one uh, lot of data because obviously if this drive fails you will lose everything so you can see here we're all done now you can download the desktop app or you can download the mobile app for uh, your uh, device that you're using and once you've got that installed you should be okay so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to quickly install the desktop app and I'll show you how it works so once we've got this it will ask us to uh, connect up so let's go ahead and do that so I'm just going to open up the file I've already downloaded mine so I'm just going to run it from the zip file here and let that install there we go so we can pull these down now and you should now see install and again, you're going to get this. Uh, do you want to share data and stuff like that? I'm not going to bother, but you can do if you want to. I'm not sure what they collect. They said they collect just crash data and stuff like that. But again, you get another message saying, do you want to share data? Again, are you sure? I don't want to. So I'm just going to say no. And what it's going to do is start setting up stuff uh, for your actual drive and your storage here. It's very quick and painless to do. And once we've got that set up, I'll show you the next step. Okay, so that's now all installed. So what I'm gonna do here is open up my Explorer, go to network, and now we're gonna click on that icon which was there. Now you can see here, uh, we've got mycloud-hctddc, and that's what it says on my one. Yours may be slightly different. Just click on that and you should now see public. And this is where you can put stuff in your drive for the public, uh, which will be for just general anyone. Of course, you can add files and folders and stuff like that to your home network and uh, you can make some private if you want. Uh, it just depends, but you can see this is your public folder. And uh, again, what I'm going to do here is going to go back. I'm going to show you some other things that you can do as well uh, with this uh, particular type of device. So let me come down to the bottom here. You can see we've got our app here and it's detected a load of stuff like uh, my passport on my computer and stuff like that so it wants to connect to those as well all you need to do now is sign in uh, to your little app here and your storage and then you can install all the western digital utilities security uh, creative cloud western digital backup norton plex acronis true image these all come uh, with this device so you can install these on here which is quite nice and uh, you've got your data erase and stuff like that. So if you want to set up a Plex home server uh, for your multimedia stuff, you can do. It's very easy to do. If you want to see that video, let me know in the comments section below. We've got no USB device connected at the moment, but you can use that as storage as well, as well as uh, copying data from that into the MyCloud as well. And uh, so it will detect all that sort of stuff. So let's move on to the next step here. You can see now MyCloud has been detected and it says it's 100% available which means I've not put no data on there as of yet 
Now when you uh, click on here you can sign out and you should see it now connected here. Uh, Brian's My Cloud and you can call it whatever you like but that's basically what it's called it for me. Another thing you can do is sync files and folders uh, to your uh, Western Digital my cloud and you can see that was for your family so this will be directly for your family this is not public this will be for anyone that you want to set it up for basically so I'm just going to go here and check the speed for this now you can right click here and you can see here sync to Brian's my cloud uh, home so you can sync that folder and it will start to copy the data across uh, automatically now any data that you chuck inside those uh, synced folders will automatically be sent to your uh, MyCloud home uh, server basically your storage device but they do take a while to send those files across depending on how much data is being synced and how much is going across so it'll be in two places at once if we go over here now you should see synced from the desktop you go inside here and you should now see this test folder that I'm sending across being synced eventually what will happen is you'll get little ticks on there little green ticks just like you would on say um, Dropbox and places like that when it says it's now synced and it's in two places at once and you can access that data from your mobile phone or your tablet or anything like that and if you give other people access to it you can also give them access to photos so they might be family photos and stuff and your family will be able to access them and see them anywhere in the world so let's go back into the network area here and you should see another icon here and this icon is going to be for your public one this one and the one next to it is for your synced files which could be your phone uh, also your phone pictures going on to there automatically from your desktop or from wherever it is that you're backing stuff up from from your tablets and stuff like that around your home they will have green ticks in them once they've been synced once they've been synced, you can share them with anyone that has access to that uh, sort of folder and data on there. Now, it's a pretty decent bit of kit if you're looking to back up your data. But remember, this has no RAID on it, so it means it's no protection if that drive fails. So if this is your only backup solution, then you are putting yourself at risk. Yes, it's good to back up uh, your drive uh, to this drive on a regular basis. But if you don't have two lots of backups, you could fall foul to losing your data through drive failure or something like that so it's always good to have uh, backups in more than one location I try and even do up to three locations but um, I'm a little bit extreme like that but you can see here the data transfer is not the fastest in the world but it works and it's a great way of backing up your stuff so if you are backing up your uh, phone maybe back up your phone to uh, your MyCloud home and uh, basically get that backed up to there and you can also back it up to something like a, a Google Drive or something like that where you've got another backup there as well so you've got it in two locations rather than one because putting all your eggs in one basket is not a good idea because if you drop them and they break that's it they're all gone and you've lost it forever so it's always good to have that extra safety net and that's basically it so all in all I think it's a pretty good device I've basically bought it for backup solution for my phones and my tablets and devices and share all that data with uh, my family and that's pretty much what I got it for so anyway I hope this uh, video has been useful to you my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk thanks again for watching bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my youtube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos <laughs>